everyone this is Kalpana here so in this video we are going to see a problem on coordinate geometry so let's get started show that the points a b c d taken in that order form the vertices of a parallelogram so here we have to show that these points taken in on in that order that is a b c d forms a vertices of parallelogram okay Consider a parallelogram Name it as A, B, C and D. We know that in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal okay so here we have to get we should get that the distance a b is equal to distance d c and distance a d equals to distance b c if you get a d equals to d c and sorry a b equals to d c and a d equals to b c then we can say that the points form the vertices of a parallelogram okay so let's check it Solution here a equals to minus four comma minus three b equals to three comma one c equals to three comma six D equals to minus 4 comma 2. Okay. So now we'll find the distance of AB, DC, BC and AD. Using the distance formula. We will find the distances of AB, BC, CD and AD. Okay. We have distance from the D equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Okay. So now we are going to find the distance AB. So this equals to square root of you are having A equals to minus 4 comma minus 3 and b equals to 3 comma 1. So the coordinate minus 4 is named as x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay. So now replace x1, x2, y1, y2 with this coordinates x2 equals to 3, 3 minus x1 equals to minus 4 whole square plus y2, y2 is 1 minus minus y1, y1 is minus 3. So this equals to square root of 3 minus 2 minus plus 4 whole square plus 1 minus into minus plus 3 whole square. So this equals to square root of 3 plus 4 is 7 square plus 1 plus 4, sorry 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 square. So this equals to 7 square is 49 plus 4 square is 
16. So now add 49 and 16. So you will get 9 plus 6, 15. 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. So this is equals to square root of 65. So you got the distance of AD is square root of 65. Okay. Therefore, AB equals to square root of 65. Okay. So now, we will find the distance BC. BC is equals to square root of so you're having B 3 comma 1 and C 3 comma 6. Let it be X1 by 1, X2, Y2. So now replace X1, X2, Y1 and Y2 in the formula. So you're having X3 equals to 3 minus X1 equals to 3 whole square plus y2 equals to 6 minus y1 equals to 1 whole square. So this equals to square root of 3 minus 3 is 0 plus 6 minus 1 is 5 square. So this equals to square root of 25 which is equals to 5 or you can write directly square root of 5 square square and Square root gets cancelled, so this equals to 5. So finally, you'll get BC equals to 5. BC equals to 5. Okay. Distance BC equals to 5. Now we'll find the distance DC. DC equals to square root of, since you're having D equals to minus 4 comma 2 and C 3 comma 6. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So you're having X2 equals to 3. So write 3 minus X1 equals to minus 4 whole square plus y2 is 6, write right, 6, minus y1 is 2, write 2, the whole square, which is equals to square root of 3, minus into minus, plus 4, whole square, plus 6 minus 2 is 4, square. So this equals to square root of 3, plus 4 is 7, 7 square plus 4 square, 7 square is 49, Plus 4 square is 16. Okay. So add 49 and 16. 6 plus 9 is 50. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. So you'll get square root of 65. Therefore, DC is equal to square root of 65. DC is equals to square root of 65. Okay. Now we'll find the distance AD. AD. Since we are having A equals to minus 4 comma minus 3. And D equals to minus 4 comma 2. Let it be X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So this equals to square root of X2 minus 4 minus X1 minus 4 whole square plus Y2, 2 minus Y1 is Minus 3, right? Minus 3 
4 square. So this equals to square root of minus 4, minus into minus, plus 4, whole square, plus 2, minus into minus, plus 3, whole square. So this equals to square root of minus 4 and plus 4 is equals to 0, plus 2 plus 3 is 5 square. So this equals to square root of 5 square. Square and root gets cancelled. So finally you get answer 5. So therefore, AD is equals to 5. AD equals to 5. It is clear that AB is equals to DC and AD equals to BC. That means the parallel sides are equal. So here opposite sides are equal. Therefore, AB equals to BC equals to root 65 and BC is equals to AD equals to 5. It is clear that the opposite sides are equal. Thus, the given points forms the vertices of a parallelogram. So this completes the problem. So this is all for now. Hope you will understand the problem. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.